please join me in welcoming the CEO of Gymshark. With Generative AI, we've built a bit of a demo that we wanted to run you guys through. So I'm going to show you something that we're calling Genshark. And what we want to do is create essentially a virtual personal trainer that sits in your pocket. Gymshark have just announced their generative AI tool called Genshark. Pretty uh, creative name, right? In today's video, I want to be breaking down what Genshark is and why this is such an important thing for the AI automation agency space. Now, if you're new here and you don't know who I am, my name's Liam and we run an AI automation agency here in London and we help businesses build custom solutions just like Genshark. Now, in the case of Gymshark, unfortunately, we weren't the ones who built it, but we have built a similar solution for another gym that I'm actually gonna be giving away to you guys so you can use it completely for free and download the template and actually start going to sell this to other clients. And maybe you can even get in front of Gymshark yourself, who knows? But more importantly, I wanna go over the reason of why I'm so happy and excited that this Genshark is now a thing. Why is this such a big thing? And what does this actually mean for us coming into 2024? Now, most of us will know already the opportunities that we have with AI when it comes to working with different businesses. And based on the OpenAI Dev Day, it's very clear that 92% of all of the Fortune 500 companies are currently working with OpenAI to use AI in some kind of way inside of their business. So what's gonna start happening is when businesses like Gymshark start to pave the way and they start to open the doors to AI and introduce it into just their workflow and their service offering, we're gonna see other businesses start to take note of that. And they're gonna be sat there thinking, oh shit, I should have probably paid more attention to this and actually started thinking about how we can use AI in our business. So from an agency perspective, on our end, it's a massive opportunity because it's just more eyes on the space in general and it's more eyes on the types of services and solutions that we can build for people. And then from just a world perspective, it's super exciting to see big businesses and massive brands like Gymshark start to incorporate generative AI and come up with creative solutions of how it can actually really help them. This gives us a really good baseline of like, okay, we know that these guys are using it for this. They had this pain point. This is the reason why they're doing this. This is who they're working with. And again, it just solidifies the concept of an AI automation agency in my eyes. So look, what I want to do in this video is kind of go through the voice flow bot that we actually have built for another client, show you how it works and show you how it's pretty similar to Genshark. And then I also want to go through a couple of more opportunities that I see inside of this kind of niche of personal fitness, gyms, personal trainers, that kind of thing. And give you a couple of ideas that you can potentially take away and go and start offering to people on Instagram or LinkedIn or whoever's in your network. Please join me in welcoming the CEO of Gymshark. With Generative AI, we've built a bit of a demo that we wanted to run you guys through. So I'm gonna show you something that we're calling Genshark. And what we wanna do is create essentially a virtual personal trainer that sits in your pocket. You Luke. will have a letter from our legal team on that one, right? because <laughs> we never signed that after. Yeah. Good morning, it's currently seven o'clock in the morning and we've just stopped off at Starbucks for a quick breakfast before we go over to Google next. I had a nice little bacon sandwich with a touch of ketchup and a latte. Worth a billion pound snacking on a Starbucks bacon sarnie. Go on, Sam. We're just going to call an Uber, head over to Tobacco Docks and meet all the folks from Google before we get on stage. We're talking about a project that we're working on in combination with Google and Deloitte. Okay. So they're working with Google and Deloitte to get this solution built. Um, I know someone who works pretty high up in a big company over here in the UK, and they're also working with Deloitte. And the funny thing is, the same solution that they're building with Deloitte is a solution that we've already built for a law firm here in the UK. And it's just ridiculous. Like Deloitte is charging, I don't know, something like 15 times more than what we charge. So uh, I wish I was a bigger company. I wish we had more time in the game and then we'd actually... Uh, get the attention of some of these big companies. Because the problem is Gymshark exists. It's a massive company. Therefore, they're going to work with Google. They're going to work with Deloitte. They're not going to work with a small agency like us. So uh, unfortunately, we've got to let the big boys do their thing. This is still super exciting. And our next guest is here to share how they're leveraging our platform and the Google Cloud Partner ecosystem to build with AI. Please join me in welcoming the CEO of Gymshark. Ben Francis. For those of you that haven't heard of Gymshark, we're a direct-to-consumer e-commerce uh, brand. We're, well, pretty much all of our revenue is... Imagine not hearing about Gymshark. <laughs> purely from Mental. online, other than the one store that we yes. opened last year, which yes. so far is going very well, which I'm pleased about. But despite being a direct-to-consumer e-commerce brand, 
because of the fact that we've been a fast growing brand and we are still very much a startup, so much of our infrastructure has been sort of mishmashed together and sort of like sticky tape together. So that's why it was really important for us to work with Google to really help us sort of level up our, our data infrastructure. And, and ultimately, the main aim of the program is to offer a, an improved level of personalized experience for our customer. There you go. That is your offer. There's your sales pitch right there. You improve personalized experiences with clients of e-commerce stores. Literally couldn't have said it better myself. Well done, Ben. Well done. With all things that are sort of like new, what we try and do is we try to be as exploratory as we possibly can. So when, when Gymshark first started, there wasn't that many businesses that were purely doing e-commerce sales. There wasn't that many people that were heavily invested into social media and influencer marketing. And, and those, those were things for us that were really, really pivotal and important in our business that we just sort of had to take our time to explore. So with generative AI right now, we, are, we haven't launched anything, but we are in a purely exploratory phase. So I think Sam, who is over here, we've built a bit of a demo that we wanted to run you guys through um, on how we're thinking about how generative AI can help our business. Okay, all right, real time. All right, Sam, yeah, over exactly. to you. Yeah, so I'm going to show you something that we're calling Gen Shark. Which you will have a, le <laughs> you will have a letter from our legal team on that. Part, right? Because <laughs> we never signed that off. Yeah. So it's, it's a very, very... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have signed it off either. Google was expecting a little bit more in the name in front. Very uh, new prototype. It's literally only been going a couple of weeks. Now, Gymshark already has, Ben mentioned it actually um, um, in one of the earlier questions, this training app, which is a great place to discover new workouts and to track your workout data when you're in the gym. And what we want to do is kind of extend this and create essentially a virtual personal trainer that sits in your pocket. So this is literally the same thing we've been selling to uh, fitness centers and gyms um, across Europe over the last few months. And this is something that I've been speaking about for ages. Guys, you really need to take notes on the word and the language that this guy's using and what Ben's using and use it in your agency. This is all like gold for us. So first of all, I don't know if you know, but there is a gym inside the Regent Street store. So let's pretend that's the gym I want to go to, okay? Where are the gen Gymshark stores and how do I get there? from Tobacco Dock. It needs to inherently know what Tobacco Dock is, realize that's a place, and realize that it's a reasonable thing to want to do to travel from here to Regent Street. And then it also needs to go and make a downstream call to the Google Maps API to actually pull back the, um, the journey information. So let's imagine I've done- Cool, so he's telling us how it's done as well. Done that, I've now got to the gym. I need to work out what I want to train, and an obvious thing I would need to do is work out you know, what my recent performance has been. So let's ask that. Tell me about my recent workout performance and tell me the areas that I have trained the least. It needs to query that structured data, pulls back the answer, turns that back into natural language and it tells me that my chest and shoulders have been doing very good, which is good. Uh, back's okay as well. And the areas, perhaps unsurprisingly, lagging a long way behind my legs. So I've, I've been skipping leg day. That's, that's great, right? Already we're getting really helpful information out from just asking a simple question. Maybe though, text is not the probably not the most beneficial information though right like if you if you know you skip leg day you don't need an ai robot to tell you that you skip leg day so i feel like it could have been a little bit more interesting there or a little bit more uh intuitive in terms of the information it could give you it's not the most helpful way to see this information and perhaps maybe seeing this in a graph might be a bit more helpful yes so let's try this plot a graph of legs data from six months ago to now. And hopefully what's gonna happen here is it's actually going to write the code. It's written the code that's required to create that graph. It's executed the car, that code to create the graph and it's returned that back all in order to answer my question as best as it can. Last thing we obviously need a personal trainer to do is actually to recommend a workout for me, right? So let's see if you can do that for us based on this conversation. Based on this conversation, please recommend a workout for me. And hopefully given, you know, my legs uh, it, it's going to tell me to work on those and it has done so it says yeah you need to spend some time on your legs go and go and do Gymshark's get down low workout which is one of the workouts that are in um, the training app so that's Gen Shark. Um, <laughs> thank you yeah as we As we said, it's just a sort of a early explorative sort of prototype, but we're pretty um, happy with the results we're yeah. seeing so quickly. So yeah, there, yeah, and back to you. Thank you very much. I know that took about a, a couple of weeks of sitting under a table, not a couple of weeks. Schmucks, come on, mate, speed up your game. Come on, Google. Two weeks, mate. Bloody hell, should have come to Unorthodox.
table not exercising your legs. Yeah. So uh, we're very grateful for that. Please join me in thanking Ben and Sam for sharing. Thanks so much, Thank Ben. You. Really appreciate you. So it is 10.45 and we have just finished at Google Next. It was really, really cool actually. I did a talk on what Gymshark's doing in terms of Google Cloud, generative AI, but then the wider conversations and the other people were talking about how they're using generative AI working with Google and Cloud. So it was a really, really interesting sort of event. So yeah. Great, so there we go. That is Ben Francis and the Google Next team going through exactly what they've been building. I am gonna show you exactly what we've built, which is the same thing and give you a couple more features that could have been added onto this that would have made it so, so good and so much better. So let's go back to my camera for now. So as you can see, it's pretty basic, but it's pretty cool. The fact that Jim Shark are doing this is amazing. Now the template I'm about to go through with you guys, which is essentially Gen Shark, where we build custom workout plans for people based on the data they give us and we build them custom nutrition plans based on their dietary requirements that template is going to be down below in the first link of the description inside of our free resources now it's not going to be there forever we are going to delete it at some point so if you're watching this video now make sure you're fast and you go and access that to download the link for free and you can start offering it as a product to whatever clients you have so let's jump on over to my computer okay so this is essentially our version of gen shark right it does the same sort of thing except right now it's not built into uh, a you know a custom app like obviously gym shark has with theirs but it is kind of a basic level that any gym or any fitness instructor can start integrating into their website so just to give you a brief overview of how it works it essentially has two pathways as it currently stands and how it's currently built um, we have a workout plan and we have nutrition plan. And the way that it works is it goes through a series of questions where it will essentially ask you um, what you want to achieve. So right now it says, hey, welcome to Gym Fitness. I'm your personal fitness coach. What do you need help with? If I need help with a workout plan, I can click that. It will then take my name. So my name is Liam. There we go. It's now going to ask me what my email address is. So think how good this is for lead generation on a website. This could be something that these guys give away for free. What's your gender? I'm Mal. There's going to be different workouts for men and women. Um, how tall are you? 195 centimeters. How much do you weigh? I weigh 100 kg. So we're collecting this data and we'll use this data to customize their workout plan. How old are you? I'm a 50 year old man. I'm not actually 50 years old, but you know. Um, cool. What is your current fitness level? Intermediate. I have some experience in the gym. And what are your current fitness goals? I want a six pack. Where are you from? From the UK. Do you have any, oh, sorry. Do we have any injuries? Uh, yes. Yes, I have a right knee injury. Now what we've done is we've collected all this data and we've, we've saved this information inside of this voice bot and we're sending it to the AI. And we're saying you're a fitness assistant, you should be able to give the user a workout plan based on the data and know that their fitness level is divided into three groups, one beginner, two intermediate, three pro, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we can just basically train it on what we want it to say and what sort of information we want to give. So we are training this model and we are giving all of this data there so it can then recommend us a workout plan based on the data it's collected. So here we go. Here's a four day per week intermediate workout plan for you, Liam. Day one, chest and triceps tells me exactly how many reps I need to do and what exercise. Day two, back and biceps. Day three, legs. Day four, shoulders and abs. Did you have any questions about your workout plan? Yes, I do have questions. What workout should I avoid with a knee injury? And of course, this is just a template. You guys can customize all of these fields. You can customize the training of this bot. You could change the sort of outputs it has. Um, if you have a knee injury, it's important to avoid any exercises that put too much stress on your knees. High impact exercises such as running, jumping, and plyometrics. I've never heard of that. Should be avoided as they can cause further damage. So you get the idea. No, I don't have any other questions. Now, this is gonna fail because we can actually post all of this information out into a CRM or out into uh, an Airtable or a Google Sheet. And then after that, it then gets sent to this thank you. So what else could we do with this? We could actually add so much more to this. We could actually add links to every single workout that we have here. So say if we have a pre-recorded set of workouts inside of our gym, what if we was to say to the AI, for every single workout that you recommend, make sure you link to the relevant video of that workout. So not only are we gonna give people a workout plan, but we're also gonna teach them how they actually need to perform that action and that movement in the gym as well. And that's all done by training the knowledge base inside of this voice flow. So if you are a complete beginner to this platform and you're a complete 
noob when it comes to voice flow, don't worry, I have so many voice flow templates and voice flow tutorials on this channel. So I definitely recommend you check those out after this video, but you'll essentially be able to download this template as well. So you'll be able to start from here and actually just use it as a base so you can then build on top of it. The same rule applies for our nutrition plan. So we go through, we ask names, we ask questions, we ask what their email is, what their current health goals are, um, do they have any allergies? And then the same thing, the bot is trained on all of that data. It takes all of the information that that uh, user has left for us and then it comes up with a meal plan. Let me quickly whip through this and I can show you how this looks as well. So if I come from here and just click play from here, there you go. So I've gone through this, I was giving it the wrong answer, my bad on that. But I've basically told them that I do heavy exercise every single day, I'm looking to lose fat and I have an allergy to shellfish. So what this AI is now gonna do is it's gonna take that and it's gonna give me my intake based on my weight and based on my age on what I need to be intaking every day for calories. Um, and then it's gonna break down what sort of level of protein I need to take, carbohydrates, fat, fiber. And of course, you can train this on your own set of data. You can train this on your own set of guidelines, but this is essentially what we have. So a, a sample daily meal, breakfast, 500 calories, oatmeal, free egg omelet with vegetables, tea or coffee, lunch, 600 calories, 150 grams of chicken breast, 150 grams of brown rice, salad, vinaigrette. Notice how there's no shellfish here we've given it our allergies. If we would have said nuts, it would have removed all peanut butter, for example, right? So this is definitely something, that, again, that can be built out and it's something that's gonna be so, so valuable. This is the chatbot, this is exactly what it does and the same rule applies. It can ship all of this information out. We can host this inside of an application. We can host this on a website. We can host this on an email. We can host this on a chatbot. Whatever that is, whatever it looks like, we can even host it on an Instagram account using ManyChat. There's so many options. And if you did want us to build something like this for your business, you can book a call with us at Unorthodox and we would be happy to show you how we can help you. Um, but as you can see, it works really well. And as a base template, you guys should definitely go and use this. This is essentially GenShark. So there you go. But what I also wanna show you is one other cool thing. And this is something I spoke about in another video before. We, I just posted this photo inside of ChatGPT of a chicken breast, some tomatoes and some broccoli. I said, what are the rough macros in this meal? And it broke down everything on the plate using ChatGPT vision. And it gave me an overview of how many calories are in this meal, how much protein, how much fat and how much carbohydrates. So imagine if we tied this into the fitness coach that we're building as well. And GenShark used something like this where you could upload every photo of your meal or you could scan a barcode of a product or a consumable that you're eating and it gives you a breakdown of how healthy it is and then it just stores it inside of your own personal CRM, for example. So lots of different things, lots of different options. If you did want these templates, download them down below. So there you have it. That is the template that you can go and start offering. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing as GenShark. The only difference is we built this four months ago and GenShark have only just built it now. So I feel pretty good about that and I feel like we're ahead of the curve. If you wanna to continue to be at the front of all of this and you want the up-to-date information, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get all of the AI Automation Agency updates and to help you build your agencies as well. But there are a couple of other opportunities that I did wanna to touch on today. I made a video the other day talking about GPTs. And in that video, I gave an example of a GPT that we could build that uses OpenAI's vision and actually scans the food that we're eating and it gives us a breakdown of the macros and nutrition in that specific meal that we've taken a photo of. So why don't we build something like that as another service that we could potentially add on to GenShark or whatever solution we're trying to provide and actually start selling that to gyms, coaches, personal trainers. This whole service can be bottled up to become a lead magnet for them. It can be something they give away for free on their website, but it brings people back to them. It allows them to collect emails, phone numbers, data. It acts as that lead magnet to help these businesses generate more leads. So definitely start looking at OpenAI. Look at ChatGPT Vision. There was a guy who made like a yoga coach instructor using ChatGPT Vision as well. Maybe we can do the same for gyms. There are so many opportunities that haven't even been uncovered yet and haven't even been explored. And most of these big businesses, even Gymshark, haven't paid any attention to them. They're just getting led by another company who is seemingly way behind and creating tools that are pretty outdated and pretty boring and standard. So use that as an opportunity for yourself. Take action from this video. Go and download the template that I've spoken about and go and start using it. See what you can make from it. But look, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ben Francis, if you're watching this video, let us build your AI for free. I'm repping the Gymshark today. 
just for you, buddy. And uh, I hope to see you in my emails very, very soon. But for the rest of you, have a good one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.